in the pharma industry. They patent everything, and they hold those patents exclusively. And what that means is that if you want to use that technology, you've got to license those patents, and you've got to pay huge royalties. Royalties that make the development of drugs for the developing world almost impossible. So we said, okay, we're going to patent everything we do in my laboratory so that nobody can block us from using this technology to help people in the developing world. And the University of California said, and we're going to give that technology away. No royalties. One to three million people die of malaria, and 90% of them are children under the age of five. But there is hope. It's a drug called artemisinin, and it comes from this plant, Artemisia annua. And when artemisinin was recommended two to three years ago as the drug of choice for treating malaria, they started withholding the crop so that the price would go up. What's more, the artemisinin often comes in contaminated. They use the only solvent they have available to them, gasoline. We need to be able to control this, and one way to control it is to produce the cheapest artemisinin available, and then only sell it to manufacturers that are going to use it properly. So we're using the power of biochemistry and microbes. We feed microbes sugar. We have them take it through metabolic reactions that we've manipulated, and they produce the drug. But we don't have to stop there. This drug, artemisinin, is a relative of this drug, complicated molecule called Taxol. It's a very effective anti-cancer drug, and it comes from the bark of this tree, the Pacific yew. You need one 100-year-old tree to get enough Taxol to treat one cancer patient once. You need more treatments than what there are trees on the planet. And what's more, this is a protected species. We could take the genes from this plant now, and all we'd need is one tree even less than one tree, to get the genes, put them into a microbe, and get it to produce this molecule. I think the future is very bright, and I think biotechnology has an important role to play.